After being sexually molested by an elderly female around the age of six, I must say it created many insecurities in me. But I found a way to overcome those insecurities. And after doing that successfully, I would use that pain to be able to inspire, uplift, encourage, and to create a positive feeling in these females. For some strange reason, it seems like women are so attracted to me. I know I'm not the most attractive guy and I'm not the most intelligent and I'm by far not the most financially successful. However, these women was attracted to me like a woman magnet. I knew I could not be with them all, so I always had to find creative ways to turn them down so that they don't feel rejected. I'm have fun, laugh, talk, enjoy some meals. I always tried to refuse because I knew that a special part of them would be taken away if we was to engage in such activities. I tried to find ways to uplift them to encourage them. I would often tell them, please close your legs, open your brain. Let's talk, let's communicate. Love is not about the beauty of a person. It's about the beauty of a relationship. A person's beauty may fade, but a beautiful relationship lingers on forever. To many of you good brothers out there who have a good woman at home, please know that many women believe and feel deep inside that being single and alone is better than being in a relationship with someone who makes you feel alone. So find time for your woman. Find time to spend time, quality time, to eat, to drink, to laugh, to just enjoy life. Whether it's enjoying your family, enjoying the kids, enjoying doing things together. Ladies, know that I respect you as much as you respect yourself. And my love is not a lottery. You can't win it. You have to earn it. When you're in love with someone, the only thing that should ever get between your relationship is death. This episode of the number one selling artists in the history of Belize was brought to you by Probe's Tax Services. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks again for your support. I'm looking forward to seeing you on our next episode of the number one selling artists in the history of Belize.